I actually never worked with Trey Songs on Fumble. I did the song Fumble and uh, with, with my peoples. One day I went to this uh, this little uh, get together with writers and publishers and shit with Tommy Big John. They, uh, Mike Karen got up there and said he needed a song for Trey Songs, and uh, I just gave it to him by chance. They picked it. And Mike was, Karen is like one of the bosses at Atlantic, and he gets people records and, and turns people up. He put it out on his album and shit. And I, I was going back and forth with Troy Taylor, his producer, and we got it going or whatever. I never met him still. So then one day up in the club up in, uh, in uh, L.A., at this shit called Playhouse, the nigga just walked in by the DJ booth, and I was right there too, because I had shit popping too at the time. I'm like, hey, what's up? He was like, I'm, I'm like, I'm the nigga that wrote Fumble. He was like, for real, that was you? I'm like, yeah, nigga, let's write some more shit. Let's link up. And then from there, we just became homies, and he introduced me to a lot of motherfuckers, and I gave credit to him, like, you know, for helping me with a lot of shit I got, I got going. Fumble was actually a record for me when I first made it. I was just like making a song. Like it was gonna come out on the first beach house and shit. And then like when I had the opportunity to give it to Trey, I was like, this would be good with blood if he do it. So he did it and it was great. They was playing some shit off a whole nother computer and I just stopped everything and I ain't say nothing. I just plugged my computer up and I just pressed play. And it was who do you love? And I was like, this the one. And then YG was like, sheesh. And then Jeezy heard it, came back. Jeezy like, yeah, that's 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 the one. The thing that really was hard for me though was, you know, when when Sub got killed, you know what I'm saying? Cause Doom really like took that super duper hard. I was with him one night and he was just bugging out. You know what I'm saying? Like we was trying to get a cab, and I think the cab was like not trying to pick us up. So like Doom just started beating on the on the window. Another part of the fucking moment is we got kicked off the tour two shows in, just because obviously what we were doing wasn't to a certain standard. So for me, that was quite like, I kind of took it personally, but I guess in terms of the bigger picture, it was a good experience. And even talking about it to people, you can kind of see that it's uh, something I'm happy I did, so. There's an energy between us too that's palpable. Like, I just want her to destroy me. I met her at Givenchy and like, I just stared at her the entire time. She stared back at me like I was Satan. <laughs> and I asked her afterwards, I'm like, can you take a picture with me? She's like, you're a little raunchy. And when Courtney Love calls you raunchy, that's when you know something's fucked up.